So talking about how an IP address is put together. We've got an IP address of 192.168.1.24. You can see there are four sections here. Each one is separated by a dot. And each section is a value that's represented by 8 bits or stored as 8 bits. And because of that, we can have values from 0 to 255 in each place there. So the 192 place, the first octet that you see, that number can be a value from 0 to 255 because that's what you can represent with 8 bits. Since 2 to the 8 is 256, and we have to go starting from 0, so the case where there are all zeros in the 8 bits, you can get values from 0 to 255 in each position, and that gives us 256 values. So each bit position out of the 8 can be a 0 or a 1. And as I said, we can get 2 to the 8 values out of each of the positions in an IP address. So each of those sections there can be from 0 to 255. So that's an IP address. Now another important component that goes along with the IP address is the subnet mask. A pretty common subnet mask that you'll see is the one represented here, 255.255.255.0. Now why do we need a subnet mask? Well, we need a subnet mask because the subnet mask tells us which portion of the IP address is the network portion and which part is the host portion. And again, the same thing applies here as with the IP address. Each position there is an 8-bit value, and so you can have values from 0 to 255. In this case, you'll see all of the bits are set in the first three octets. So there's all ones, and that gives us 255 in each of those first three positions. So let's look at an IP address again. 192.168.1.24. If we've got a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, which portion of that IP address is for the network and which part is for the host? Since all of the bits are set in the first three octets, that means all of those positions, all three octets there, are for the network. That leaves the fourth octet for the host. Now, when it comes to the host portion of the IP address, for every subnet, you have a network address, which is the bottom of the subnet, the very lowest address in the host for that particular network. And the broadcast address is the very highest value in the host for that subnet. So in this case, dot zero would be our network address and dot 255 would be our broadcast address. So in this particular subnet that we're talking about here with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, we've got zero as the network, 255 as the broadcast, that leaves us dot one through dot 254 available for hosts. So we can have 254 host addresses in this particular subnet. 